Hello, we're going to do a quick video on the summary page in APDL today. Starting here on the menu, next to the summary row, we see a total of number of hours I have logged so far this year to date. Tapping on the summary row, we have several predefined time ranges that we have summary data available for. Starting with the last 90 days, you can see the scheduled flight time, actual flight time, night instrument, total legs, day and night landings, and then some on-time performance data that's uh, happened in the previous 90 days. We also have the same thing available for 180 days, year to date, the previous year, and then all time. Going to the bid summary, since this is close to the beginning of the month for July, I don't have very much data here, and I can scroll back using the arrow left and right at the top right of the screen here to see some previous months. We do have a note here that we can change the bid period range by going to the payroll view. So we'll go back to the payroll view, take a look at that briefly. We can see here at the very top, I can designate the start and ending of July bid period, June bid period, if my airline does not use the first to the last day of the month for the bid periods. After we've been scrolling around through some different bid periods here, we can tap the calendar icon in the center of those arrows to go back to the current month. You can also do a custom date range Go into the custom date range page here, select any beginning and ending date you like just for a temporary view of your hours between those dates. And then a very popular request was the date ranges required for a FAA Med Express application and you can type in your application date that you're going to your medical appointment and get a look back for the past six months from that date as well as total time to date uh, for all of your civilian time. In order to get this number to be the uh, accurate value for your total number of hours, since you probably weren't using APDL for your entire aviation career, you need to go to the settings and aircraft types and enter all of your prior hours that you had before using APDL into uh, an entry here. Now what I've done is I've created a, a new aircraft type, which is not a real aircraft at all, but I've labeled it prior hours, and then down below previous time or under previous time, I've entered all flight time prior to using APDL. These hours are not used for anything in APDL outside of the look back report we just talked about. And as you can see, I have several grayed out aircraft types here that I have archived so that I can hide them from the display so it's not cluttered. In order to hide those archived aircraft, you can go in Settings General and deselect Show Archive Data. And then when I go back to the aircraft types, it only shows the current aircraft that I fly. So that's a quick update on the summary page in APDL. We hope you like the update. Thanks for watching.